Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another installment of Scott Selections here for Thursday, August 27th. Before we get into today's play, that a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up having the Lakers minus eight in the first half. And obviously, as everybody knows, uh, there were no NBA uh, NBA games yesterday as they they all get ended up getting boycotted. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in sports. I know that some MLB games got postponed as well. Uh, tennis, I know, is taking the day off on Thursday as well. I'm assuming the NBA won't be back for a couple of days. Definitely not tomorrow as they're going to be talking about a plane in the morning. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But one sport that didn't really do anything with regard to the boycotting was the NHL, as they ended up going ahead with all of their games, especially the Lightning Bruins game and the Avalanche Stars game, which happened after the NBA made their decisions. But as far as I know, the NHL has no plans on boycotting, and it seems like they are going to be playing their games as normally scheduled. We'll see if that changes, but either or, it's a pretty limited sports card because I'm not sure how many baseball games are going to be played, and I know that – pretty much for a fact that there's going to be no NBA games played tomorrow. So for that reason, for the play of the day here on Thursday, we're going to be looking at an NHL match, uh, matchup in hockey. It's going to be between the Philadelphia Flyers and the New York Islanders. And the play of the day is going to be on the Islanders on the money line, which is available on Fox Bet at plus 100, a time recording of roughly 1.30 a.m. Eastern time. Now, a couple reasons why I like the Islanders in the spot. First of all, this is the second game of a back-to-back. Philadelphia did even up the series, winning 4-3 in overtime yesterday. However, I feel like I kind of speak for everybody. Very unimpressive performance from the Flyers. They scored three goals in roughly the first eight minutes of the game. You assumed it was a wrap. And they completely took their foot off the gas. They just stopped playing hockey. Uh, you had Hayes who had two goals early. Sorry, turned uh, 3 nothing 15 minutes into the game. So you had a 3 nothing lead going into the second period. And then you just stopped playing hockey. And the Islanders, instead of rolling over, they switched goalies, put Grice in. And they ended up having a phenomenal comeback, including two goals in the third period, and they ended up losing in overtime. Now, I know that the Flyers still won, but the issue that I have with the Flyers is the fact that it seems like at random points they just have a loss of focus. And the Islanders seem completely dialed in all the time. Even in the first period when the Flyers were, uh, you know, doing most of the heavy lifting offensively as they ended up scoring three goals, I didn't really think the Islanders looked that bad in the first period. They had a couple of solid chances offensively, and they got, cut, they got caught in a couple of odd man rushes. And then Varlamov let up a couple of goals that were relatively soft. But for the most part, I thought it was mostly defensive lapses for the Islanders, and I thought that they actually forechecked pretty well within the first, I'd say, five minutes of the game or so, regardless of the fact that the Flyers took a lead on a counterattack. So the Islanders, I thought, looked decent in the first period. Not, Of course, not great being down 3 nothing, But second and third periods, they completely outplayed the Flyers, and it wasn't even close. So the, the Islanders just have – I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a sense of just energy level or stamina or what it is. But the Flyers throughout the playoffs have had this issue with sustaining a high level of energy for a full 60 minutes. And the Islanders have shown repeatedly that they give it their all in pretty much every game they play. And I simply think that the wrong team is favored in this matchup. Berlamov did get a pretty decent rest yesterday. I know that he struggles. He gave up three goals and 10 shots. But he only played for 15 minutes. And now he's definitely going to be fresh to play in this game. Where Carter Hart has played the first game of the series. He also had 31 saves on 34 shot attempts. He played the full game and overtime. I think Hart might be exhausted, and Varlamov should have a pretty good rest advantage, and I definitely was a fan of how the Islanders played over the uh, last, I guess, two and a half periods, if you include overtime. So for that reason, I simply think the wrong team's favored. I think that there's some value on the Islanders, and I wouldn't be surprised to see the Islanders close roughly a potential favorite in this matchup based on the fact that I think they've been the better team in this series. So for me, once again, the play that is going to be on the Islanders on the money line which is available on Fox Bet at plus 100. Pretty good deal considering the fact that FanDuel has the Islanders at minus 110. I know DraftKings is minus 1-4, but most of the minus 110 spots. So you are getting a decent 10 cents of value there on the Islanders. I expect money to come in on the Islanders as well. I know Philadelphia is the one seed, but I think you can agree that the Islanders have looked at the much more consistent team in the playoffs so far, especially after how badly uh, Philadelphia struggled against Montreal as the Islanders coasted through Washington. So once again, play of the day for Thursday. August 27th is going to be on the Islanders' money line, which is available at plus 100 on Fox Bet. Not sure if this game's going to be played. You have to wonder about the NHL boycotting and some potential backlash resulting from what happened uh, today when they decide to make their games. But as far as right now, the time of recording, there's going to be a projected hockey game, and that's going to be the play of the day. So other than that, though, that's been this installment of Scott's Selections here for Thursday, August 27th. Good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.